Hi, this is Phil from GotMemories.com. I'm going to show you how to edit to music. Um, I personally like editing to music, uh, makes it more fun, enjoyable, brings out the emotion in the footage. And also, kind of gives you a, a time to work with. So if a song is about four minutes long, it kind of gives you a nice uh, structure to make a four minute video. So you kind of find the fun spots in the movie and gives you a goal to edit to. So what I've got here, um, I have a clip off here from my own home movie footage from 1981. And I have also got a clip here. It's only one minute, 19 seconds. Um, but you know, this is all for uh, purpose of just showing you how to do these things. So I've already dragged them into the timeline here. And I'm going to go ahead and click play. It's just a uh, Nice piano music and uh, so you can kind of see right there. Okay, so what uh, we've got here, we're going to quickly go through and I'm just scrubbing through all of this footage. As you can see here, this is 45 minutes thereabouts. Um, and this looks like it was ranging you know, around about the Christmas uh, of 1981. So. I'm going to find some good clips here and I can zoom in on the timeline as well to kind of get more of a, uh, that's a cat uh, plan. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the clip button here, the scissors, and I'm just going to start chopping and you can delete the footage here, delete and close gap. And we're moving it around and find some good little fun spots here. As you can see here, my dad liked to keep the camera on for a very long time. So I found a spot here, which is me blowing out the birthday candles. There's my nice 1980s haircut. And uh, so I'm just gonna cut that and then cut that. We've got a bit there. Now what I like to do, I like to move these clips up to the uh, timeline. So kind of like this is the keeper timeline up here. And then everything else I kind of start to search for. Um, there's a friend of mine, Simon. And we'll cut that. I'll magnify a little bit here so we can see the clips a bit better. Move that up. And we'll get rid of this here. And Move that there and there and highlight all of this and kind of move it out of the way a second. So you can start to see that I've got those clips now. And the audio is still in the background as well, which you can actually either move the levels up or down on the audio. Okay, here's a clip here I've just found, and it's me goofing off with, uh, looks like some cheese sticks in my mouth, and kind of fits the mood. And I'm gonna take that bit there, and cut it, and then move it up, and let's have a look here. Move it to the front, and just drag it over, and then let's find another few clips. There's one of my uncle, and I just, he's waving, and that over. One thing I like to do is to look for family members in really nice up close shots of people's faces and if they're doing something silly. Um, and there's my mum right there. There's a good shot right there. So I'm gonna put that on there and make her happy. And there's another clip there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move that out of the way so I can look here. And there's my aunt. That's a good little shot right there. Okay, so I've got so assembled some clips here. Now, what I do is, once I've kind of assembled them, I chop them down even more. So this particular scene right here, boom, 
it's a little bit too long, so I'll just cut it and so look, I'll get rid of it. Let me close gap. So just some nice uh, tight edits go. You know, you can scrub back and forth. And now I start to really hone in and chop things up even more to make it more interesting. So if we start from the beginning here, you can kind of see where we're at. Uh, just edited some of these things together. So, and this originally was about 20 minutes worth of footage here. So this clip right here, this shot here, um, I always go back, uh, you know, quite a few times over the timeline and kind of look at shots and see if they're a little bit too long, if some of them that I've done a little bit too short. Um, I can see two, the one here that, that needs uh, shortening. So I'm kind of doing it where I, here we go, it's me being silly. I'm gonna cut it like right here. And there we got a nice tight clip right there. And and then I've got one here, there's my mum, and there's my aunt, and I'm just gonna extend this clip here and make it a little bit longer. And there we go. And how I did that was that this little bar here, I just kind of drag it and it'll extend the clip a little bit more. And this one here, so there's my uncle Derek, and then it's nice to get a good little shot there. He's waving. Okay, enough of that. Cut that. And there we go. So there you go. We've got a nice little cut here. So you can basically see there how I've taken three, four people that were stretched out over a 20 minute clip and we're at 14 seconds right now. And you're basically going into a time machine and remastering the past. Um, There's a beauty with all of this software these days. Once you've got it digitized, you can play around with it as you can see right here. And so there we go. And I've got nice close up shots, cut out all of the boring footage. And you've got a nice little piece there with the music as well. That concludes this video editing tutorial. Be sure to check our website, gotmemories.com, for all other tips and tricks on video editing and transfer services. My name is Phil Thomas. Thanks again for watching.